This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and uh, something's different. Welcome back everybody. It's time for one of the quickest instant makes your layout look awesome transitions that you can do and that is fascia. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Let's go ahead and hop into how I made this. Fascia is, simply put, panels on the front of your mono railroad meant to hide your construction work. You can use any material you want for fascia, but the most common is masonite, also known as tempered hardboard. I picked these panels up from my local Home Depot, and they had them available in 2 foot by 4 foot sections, which made them easy to haul. If you have the ability though, they do come in 4 by 8 sheets. For my layout, I wanted a fascia panel that was one foot wide at its absolute maximum, which in my case meant the elevation of the town on my layout. So I started by cutting my fascia boards into one foot wide strips. If you don't have power tools, you can have your local home improvement store cut them for you. I'll also link the power tools I'm using in the description below. Once I've cut my one foot strips, I go ahead and bring the panels up and hold them against the layout aligned and then I use a sharpie to draw the contours of the layout. I want the top edge to follow the terrain, especially in the mountainous section of the layout. Now the yard and industrial section is pretty flat, so I don't really have to worry about much there. I do need to mark those boards so that they align with the cuts that I'm going to make on the fascia boards for the more mountainous section. Once I have traced the pattern, I use a jigsaw to cut the contour. This can be a little rough on the edges of the masonite, so I do recommend that you flip it to where the rough side is up. I also go ahead and trim my end board to 30 inches. For mounting, I will be using simple 1 inch round head screws. This is because I do want the panels to look as nice as possible, and I like this look. I use two screws per mounting point where I can, but some places only have enough room for one, such as the end panels. Now in this particular shot, you would have seen me mounting the fascia panel in front of the yard, except for that I was not cognizant of where the camera was, so you get my back. I swear, I'm a professional, guys. Now for the final section of the yard and industrial area, I need to adjust the panel a little bit because I need a little cutout so that my little cart with all my supplies will fit underneath where I store it. If you want to see where I created this cart, I have a link right up here as well as in the description below. I go ahead and mark all of my cuts and then I get to cutting. The cuts are pretty straightforward so I'm able to use a circular saw for the cuts. Next, I go ahead and finish mounting the fascia panel in front of the yard so that I can make sure that the final facial panel is aligned properly. I then go ahead and mount the fascia panel. Now I'm eyeballing where the screws are roughly, which really we're only doing this for aesthetics rather than where things are actually supposed to be held because all that matters is that they are attached. But I also didn't want to mark on the fascia panels where I was going to drill. So that is why I eyeballed it. I then put one screw in the end because there's only room for one. I then go back and attach the final little filler piece that I had cut. And again, I did some amazing camera work here. We're going to be doing a ridiculously simple way to do these little curtains that hide a lot of everything underneath our layout. I have the curtains linked in the description below. You can find a ton of different links of curtains online, but these are the ones that fit my layout the best. 
to attach these curtains to the back of the fascia where it's going to be nice and hidden, I'm doing literally the simplest method ever. I'm using adhesive Velcro strips. Now when I do this, I'm putting the rougher side of the Velcro on the curtain side and I'm putting the smoother fuzzy side, I really don't know what the term is, uh, on the fascia panel. Now the sticky adhesive back of these is very sticky and it will hold just fine. But it's not going to like being moved so make sure you have it right when you place it otherwise you're probably going to waste a strip and have to use another one. All in all it took four total panels to do my entire layout and Frankly, this is just, I love the way that this looks. Fascia panels definitely are one of those ways that make your layout look a lot better by giving it that cleaner appearance. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. Speaking of clean, you can also use these curtains to hide your mess, which is totally what I am doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They're listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. And if you're at the $5 a month level, you get a model of the month that you can 3D print yourself if you're into 3D printing. Now, if you'd like to try 3D printing or you're interested in any of the other tutorials and techniques that I use, I'm going to have some videos linked at the end of this video for you to check out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. I'm not used to being like this far away from the camera. Like I'm used to being like right here. Thank you guys. Oh, I messed it up. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. So close.